Good evening. I'm Scott McKinney, Interim Superintendent of Schools, and I'm honored and privileged to be a part of this evening where we celebrate and honor our educators of the year and our retirees. I would like to introduce Mrs. Oliveira and Ms. Acosta who chair this committee and oversee the challenging task of narrowing down this field to one representative from each school. Thank you both for all of your hard work coordinating this process. Thank you, Mr. McKinney. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that Mrs. Oliveira and I share, stand before you this evening. As educators, we all look to inspire and to make a difference in the lives of our children. We strive to establish a productive classroom climate and rapport with students while keeping up with the most current trends and strategies that are most effective for their learning. Tonight, we honor and celebrate educators who have made a lasting impression on the lives of their students, parents, and colleagues. In January, letters were sent and posted inviting parents, students, staff members, and community members to select nominees that they felt best exhibited the qualities of Educator of the Year. In nominating this year's candidates, we sought teachers who demonstrated highly effective engagements with their students, dedicated service to their school community, and demonstrated significant commitment to their own professional growth as lifelong learners. Additionally, we, the administration, considered the evaluation piece and incorporated it into in the process in choosing our recipients for this year. Based on those nominations, a committee comprised of prior educators of the year, members of the PTO, and a board member met to complete the silent voting process. Ballots were counted, and our 2018-2019 educators of the year were selected. In March, carrying flowers and balloons, we took to the schools to surprise this year's recipients. As we entered classrooms, curious students wanted to know why the superintendent was visiting with gifts. They soon learned that their teachers would be the ones who were awarded this distinct honor. Ms. Marley, Mr. Medora, Mr. Real, Ms. Merrill, Ms. Bokach, and Mr. Guyton. We thank you for your dedication to the students and families of Berkeley Heights, and tonight we celebrate you. Congratulations. We would now like to turn the program back over to Mr. McKinney as he honors and introduces each recipient. Thank you. I would also like to introduce Dr. Chris Anino, our Board of Education representative to this committee. I know that he enjoys being part of this work and offering the sincere appreciation of the Board of Education for the hard work and dedication of our educators. Thank you, Dr. Crisanino. <laughs> Tonight is a great evening as we honor our talented educators. The Berkeley Heights and Mountainside communities value education and we all take great pride in our schools. I'm sure that each and every one of us in this room can recall a small handful of educators, a teacher, a counselor, coach, advisor, nurse, principal, who we remember for making a last, lasting impact on our lives. These special people inspire, support, instruct, develop, and believe in our students. We can all agree that the educators that work with our students help prepare and mold them for their futures, and that is why it is with great pride that I introduce to you six educators that have made a difference for the students of Berkeley Heights. Thank you for all that you do. Our first educator of the year, Mrs. Brenda Marley, is from Mary Kay McMillan. Brenda, can you come on up, please? Brenda Marley has been employed as a reading specialist at Mary Kay McMillan Early Childhood Center since September of 2002. She came to the Berkeley Heights Public Schools after taught kindergarten and first grade learning and or language disability classes in the Franklin Township School District for eight years. Brenda Marley characterizes the most essential qualities of an exemplary teacher, passion, motivation, leadership, and just the right amount of bossy, explained Ann Corley Hand principal of the Early Childhood Center. 
She actively seeks innovation, is passionate in her quest to improve student learning, and possesses an unabashed willingness to take risks to find and adopt new approaches to enhance teaching effectiveness. In her role as a reading specialist, Mrs. Marley has been commended for serving as a resource person, advisor, in-service leader, investigator, diagn diagnostician, instructor evaluator, and remedial teacher. She has been instrumental in implementing a tiered system of supports for addressing the diverse needs of the students at the McMillan School. In addition, Brenda has served as a workshop presenter for the New Jersey Association of School Administrators and has conducted many professional development sessions for her colleagues on numerous literacy-related topics. Mrs. Marley earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology with a concentration in Special Education from Douglas College of Rutgers, the State University, and she received her Master of Education degree in Reading from the Rutgers Graduate School of Education. Whether Brenda is working with young children or providing professional development workshops for her colleagues, she ensures that her students experience success by challenging their abilities in order to foster as much growth and development as possible. Mrs. Corley Hand added, she is well-liked and respected by staff, makes herself available to colleagues as a mentor and guide those in areas which she has expertise. She is a most deserving of this honor. Personally, in, in my role as assistant superintendent, I've had the pleasure of working closely with the dedicated reading specialists of our district. In this capacity, I've seen firsthand the impact that Brenda has had on so many of our youngest learners. She has an incredible grasp of how to support students and is a great leader and team player at the Early Childhood Center. This honor is truly well-deserved. Congratulations. PTO President, Mrs. Lisa Marie Kostrowski will present the PTO award. <laughs> Mrs. Marley is a reading specialist at Mary Kay and well loved by all of her students. She works with children one on one or in small groups to give them the foundation to become strong readers. One particular parent, Katie Salerno, wrote a very compelling letter nominating Mrs. Marley for Educator of the Year. Mrs. Marley worked with both of Katie's daughters while at Mary Kay and provided consistent and continued support to improve her daughter's reading skills. Mrs. Marley learned her daughter's strengths and weaknesses and took the time to understand her daughter's interests so as to better motivate her. As Katie said, you can see how much she loves what she does and how she takes the time to focus on each child and give them confidence and strength in reading. We are so lucky to have you working with our children, and it is my pleasure, Mrs. Marley. Thank you all for coming tonight. The Board of Education members, Mr. McKinney, coworkers, students, parents, and my family. This is an honor I wasn't expecting, but truly appreciate. And I have to admit, I'm really liking the parking spot. It's going to be hard to give it up next year. My father instilled in me a love for education and my mom the importance of always giving back to the community. So it wasn't much of a surprise to anyone when I decided to become a teacher. As a reading specialist at the Early Childhood Center, I have the unique opportunity to work with almost all of the students in the Berkeley Heights community. However, not being the classroom teacher does have its disadvantages. In the children's eyes, we just aren't the same. Last year, after working with a student every day in a small group, she looked up at me at day 160 and said, what's your name again? <laughs> so while I realize I may not have that lasting impact as the classroom teacher does, please know I love watching all of the students grow and develop. So many walk into the building on the first day of kindergarten, quiet, reserved, a little scared, but ready for this new adventure. And when they leave as first graders 22 months later, they are confident and excited about their journey into the elementary schools. As Maria Montessori, an education philosopher, said, the greatest sign of success for a teacher is to be able to say, the children are working as if I didn't exist. I also want to thank my coworkers and principals. During my 17 years in the district, I have been fortunate to work with two strong, innovative principals, Mary Kay McMillan and Annie Corley Hand. With both of them, failure was always an option because they were willing to try something new. Through their mentorship and encouragement, 
I somewhat willingly would step out of my comfort zone, take risks, and try new initiatives, although I'm not completely convinced that Annie hasn't used that to her advantage a little bit. Through collaboration, encouragement, and dedication, data teams and WIN were created. Staff members all have unique strengths to bring to the table, and by collaborating, we become stronger, more effective teachers for our youngest learners. Teachers need other teachers. It's not a job that can be done alone. Thank you for always letting me put in my two cents, even when I know you really didn't want to hear it. I know that there are times when I get up in the morning, I have four young children, they're of school age with their own busy lives and a long commute, and I feel like I've put a full day of work in before I even enter the building. But as I scan my ID card, a sense of belonging takes over and I realize how lucky I am to have a job I love with coworkers that have become lifelong friends. Thank you to all of you. And because of all of you, the Early Childhood Center is an environment where all children grow and succeed. Thank you also to the parents for sharing your children with me for 10 months each year. Even though the stay at MKM is brief, you open your arms and release your most beloved possessions into our care and trust. It is an honor and privilege to work with our youngest learners. So in closing, I would just like to thank you all for coming tonight and to remind you, sometimes look through the eyes of children. Remember to be happy for no reason. Always be busy with something and take time to enjoy the moment. Thank you. The Educator of the Year for Thomas P. Hughes School is Mr. Matt Madura. Matt, please join me. <laughs> Matt Madura has been a mainstay in grade four classes at Thomas P. Hughes since his arrival in the Berkeley Heights School District in September of 2000 consistently displaying an infectious enthusiasm for teaching while always advocating for the students in his classes. I was not surprised that we were inundated with letters of nomination for Mr. Madura this year, said Jessica Nardi, principal of Thomas P. Hughes School. His unique teaching style is engaging and straightforward and the students immediately feel connected to him. Over the years, Mr. Madura has been commended for holding his students to a high standard while providing the structure for them to meet his expectations. He demonstrates proficiency with technology as his Promethean board is used effectively throughout the school day, and he works hard to differentiate work as per the needs of the students and seeks assistance in obtaining supplemental services for his students when needed. A graduate of Governor Livingston High School and the Berkeley Heights Public Schools, Matt earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Interdisciplinary Studies from Old Dominion University, and he completed his teacher certification coursework through Kane University. Outside of the classroom, Mr. Madura has served as a member of the District Social Studies Curriculum Committee and Affirmative Action Committee, as a PTO representative, and as a participant in the Berkeley Heights Ed Foundation basketball game. In addition, Matt was chosen as Teacher of the Year at Thomas P. Hughes for the 2004-2005 school year. Mr. Madura can frequently be found helping his students sort out social issues, and he is an outstanding communicator who is well known for his informative daily emails to parents, said Mrs. Nardi. Students are always excited on move up day when they find out they will have the man teacher. As <laughs> as he is often to refer to by his incoming students. Um, Mr. Madura and I did share some time together, Governor Livingston, several years ago. Um, well, I'm not sure that either of us really expected to be back on stage here together um, as educators. I can tell you that Mr. Madura is committed to connecting with every one of his students year after year. He is a talented educator who consistently advocates for his students and what they need. Thank you for all you do for your students. Um, Mrs. Dana Vandenbrand, can you join us, please? Thank you. On behalf of the Hughes PTO, I'm honored to congratulate Mr. Madura on being recognized as Hughes Educator of the Year. Mr. Madura is a part of Hughes' outstanding fourth grade team, and he creates a fun learning environment while encouraging his students to work to their potential. It's apparent he truly enjoys teaching and being in the classroom. 
He's incredibly committed to his class, and we could not imagine fourth grade without him. We are so lucky to have you as part of Hugh's team. Congratulations. Good evening, Mr. McKinney, members of the board, administrators, teachers, parents, students. I'm honored to be here tonight. When the uh, school bell rings each morning at 825, I greet students at my door with a handshake and a smile. And in this brief exchange, I get an idea for how they are feeling as the day just begins. And as they unpack, I play a song that officially begins the day. This routine I have kept in order to remember my favorite teacher, Mr. Menark. Like me, he taught fourth grade when I was a student at Mountain Park School many years ago, as he said. He introduced me to so much that year, such as music, Cat Stevens, John Denver, Jim Croce, artists we still listen to and enjoy today each and every morning in my classroom. And so the day begins. Parents have dropped off their children at Hughes School to spend the day with me, an extension of their family, a family made up of many teachers and building professionals. It is our job collectively to provide them with a foundation, a second home, an environment that is nurturing, one that challenges them on a daily basis, and one that makes them a better person. Teaching. That's what I signed up for 20 years ago. A profession has a starting point in September and an end in June. Ten months. Ten months to try and make an impact on a child's life. I have 19 kids in my class this year who bring me both challenges and joy each and every day. We learn together, we laugh together, at times we struggle together, but eventually we grow together. If my Hughes family is made up of 19 kids, I guess we better discuss the work wives. <laughs> yeah, they're out there. I have, a great war I have a, had a great year working with Lindsay Gligori, Toby Shocklin, Kate Corcoran, and Lindsay Guyton, and they keep me in line every day. When the kids are at specials, it would not be unusual to find us gathered in a classroom, hashing out plans for the week, deciding when we might give a math test, or even discussing the mysterious Starbucks cup in the Game of Thrones show this past Sunday. I can honestly say that the people I get to work with at the Hughes School and District are great. Simply put, we are a family. And as I have grown over the years from working with students and colleagues at Hughes, I can't forget about my family outside of school. My three kids, my miracles, are growing up way too fast. They're at a point where they are so independent that I can barely keep up with them or their homework. I find myself looking at my iPhone every day for answers to their assignments. Like how to find the volume of a spherical cone. And I say to myself, really, when are you ever going to use this information in life? There are definitely days when I need to be more patient, accepting, and understanding. Parents have cut to come together, determine their strengths, and then use that to help their children. My kids are lucky to have a mom and dad who love them and who could sit down with them and work with them with minimal mount meltdowns. I applaud every parent of my students because it is a job that is never easy, and being a parent has put things in perspective for me. And I leave you with this. We have a performer that has been coming to our fourth grade for years to teach us about Thomas Edison and the lessons that he followed in life. The most important, significant lesson that he followed was this. Find something you truly love and then spend the rest of your life doing it. I love teaching, and if you don't mind, I'm going to continue it for a few more years. Thank you. The Educator of the Year for Mountain Park School is Ms. Marilyn Merrill. Marilyn, please join me on stage. <laughs> Marilyn Merrill started her employment in the Berkeley Heights Public Schools in September of 1997 as a media specialist librarian at Mountain Park School. She came to Berkeley Heights after 
having worked as a teacher librarian in the Hillside School District for 19 years. Since September 2011, Marilyn has served as the media specialist at both Mountain Park and William Woodruff Schools, where she continues to foster a love for books and reading among the students in both buildings. Mrs. Merrill brings superhuman energy to all activities and instruction that takes place in the Instructional Media Center of our school, explained John Morisot, principal of Mountain Park School. Her creativity and enthusiasm are contagious. During the course of her career, Marilyn has been lauded for her remarkable knowledge of what students really like to read. She has a tremendous respect for her students' opinions, and she works to assist each child in finding books based on their interest and level of reading ability. Ms. Merrill devotes a good deal of her time in the Media Center to projects and activities that enrich and expand the concepts being presented in the classrooms. She has written successful proposals for several Berkeley Heights Education Foundation grants, which has provided Mountain Park and Woodruff students an opportunity to hear from and meet authors, Holocaust speakers, and professionals from various fields, all of which have greatly enhanced their educational experiences. The 2002-2003 Teacher of the Year at Mountain Park School, Marilyn earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in Teacher Librarian Elementary Level, as well as her Master's of Arts degree in Language Arts Social Studies Education from Kane University. Outside of the classroom, Ms. Merrill has served as faculty advisor to the Student Council, Computer Club, and Cross Stitch Club, as well as being the organizer of the school's Charity Day and Lunch Library Program. Marilyn goes to great extremes to provide enrichment opportunities for all students through a wide variety of activities, continued Mr. Morisot. Her dedication to and love for teaching are always evident, and she is always willing to help out any colleague who is in need of resources or creative advice. While Ms. Merrill and I began in Berkeley Heights in the same year, and she was a parent while I was at Governor Livingston, it was not until I worked at Central Office that I did I become fully aware of the amazing things happening in her media center lessons and see the connection she made with her students. I truly admire her willingness to always find creative ways to meet the needs of her students. Congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. D'Angelo, will you join us? Though our school librarian is at Mountain Park just part-time, Mrs. Merrill has a full-time impact at our school. She makes our media center a place full of great warmth and wonderful learning experiences. Her consistent dedication has led her to accomplishing great things, both in and out of the classroom. Over the years, you can find Mrs. Merrill organizing community service activities with our student council, arranging for visits from well-respected authors, teaching our students lessons about libraries and research, and spending countless hours filling the libraries, filling our library with books that our students will absolutely love. As a parent, I can say I am truly impressed when I visit her library and see her, kit, her students doing exactly what she told them to do. On behalf of the PTO at Mountain Park School, I am proud to give the Educator of the Year Award to Mrs. Marilyn Merrill. Congratulations. Well, as you can probably imagine, the librarian has to talk about books. And if you were to ask any of my students what my favorite book was, they would tell you she has lots. Every book is her favorite. But many of them know that I have one that's my number one favorite, and that's Charlotte's Web. And if you were to read Charlotte's Web, you know that Charlotte weaves web weaves words, sorry, into her web to save her friend Wilbur. And one of the words she weaves is humble. And I feel humble just being here tonight because I work with so many wonderful teachers. Any one of them can be here and be teacher of the year. I feel humble by the amazing students that I work with each day. They bring their energy for learning and their experiences that really help to enrich our classes. I am humbled when I, upon finish a reading with my class, participating in a discussion with my students, the insights that they bring totally amaze me, and I am just so humbled by their articulation. 
I am so thankful for the wonderful opportunities that working in Berkeley Heights has afforded me as an educator. I've been teaching for about 41 years now. I thank the administration, my building principals, Ms. Gasparini and Mr. Marso, for their support and encouragement in all the things that I try to accomplish in the media center in both buildings. I also want to thank the Berkeley Heights Foundation, whose willingness seems unending to partner with me and enables me to bring numerous experiences to my students in both buildings. As I close, I'd like to quote Olivia, reading never wears me out. Thank you. Please welcome the Educator of the Year from Woodruff School, Mr. Joe Reel. Just a few months after earning his Bachelor of Science degree in Special Education from Miami University, Joe Reel started working in the Berkeley Heights schools during the 2010-2011 school year as a paraprofessional at William Woodruff School an assistant boys basketball coach at Governor Livingston High School. The following school year, Mr. Reel was appointed to a teacher of special education resource room inclusion position at Woodruff School. Joe has continued to serve in this role for the past eight years, in addition to teaching several classes at Mountain Park School. Mr. Reel is an outstanding teacher who possesses a deep desire to teach, an understanding of children, a high level of energy, and an inner determination that ensures that each of his students learn the lessons of school and life, explained Patricia Gasparini, principal of William Woodruff School. He instinctively knows that the first and most important step in teaching is to build a rapport with the students based on respect, support, and building a community environment to take risks. Woodruff is proud to recognize Mr. Reel as Woodruff's Teacher of the Year. Outside of the classroom, Mr. Reel has served as faculty advisor to the Writing Club and Happy Feet Club at Woodruff, in addition to being a member of the district's Council on Instruction, the AED, CPR, Code Red, and evacuation teams at his school. Joe has also been an assistant coach for the girls' tennis and boys' basketball teams at Governor Livingston, and he introduced the Basketball Coaches versus Cancer fundraising initiative to Governor Livingston High School. In addition, Mr. Reel is always willing to share his talents taking pictures, singing, or even kissing a pig during a special student council fundraiser or giving his, of his time to support a PTO dunk tank event. Mr. Reel is a coach at heart, Ms. Gasparini continued. He coaches his students through learning by taking small steps at a time, gaining footing, and then building up upon them while always nurturing confidence. He believes every student can learn and it is his job to find the key that unlocks the door. His excitement, energy, and enthusiasm permeate every lesson. His demeanor is calm and collected, coupled with a flair that can spark excitement at any moment. As you can tell, Mr. Reel is a busy contributor to our district and continues to grow into more and more leadership roles. He is a reflective educator who is dedicated to finding the right approach for each of his students. I work closely with Joe in Council on Instruction, and he is frequently a voice of reason as we speak to find ways to improve our schools. Thank you, and congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. Fay and Mrs. Nasto, will you join me? We would like to thank Mr. Reel for his dedication to our Woodruff students. He's an outstanding teacher, colleague, Woodruff community member, and he gives a hoot. <laughs> we also want to thank Mr. Reel for being such an important role in the most popular program at our school, the Happy Feet program. As a part of that program, promoting health and the joy of running, and the children really love you for that. Thank you. All right. 
uh, Board of Ed, administration, teachers, uh, fellow teachers, uh, parents, students, thank you for this award. I'm very honored. Um, so as a, I wrote a speech. You now, uh, my wife is over there. She's like, stick to the script, stick, stick to the script. <laughs> like, I don't really like what I wrote down though, you know? Um, but I've, I've attended these ceremonies for, for nine years now. And, you know, the people, who, three uh, educators who got up before me and, and all the speeches I've heard before this, all uh, people are uh, smarter and more clever than I am. So uh, I thought back to the speeches that I really enjoyed and, and why I enjoyed them. Um, and I, I just remember really feeling special being a member of the audience and uh, a fellow teacher who was up here mentioning me my, uh, by name or by occupation. So I kind of wanted to flip the script and just uh, talk about some of the people who have uh, played a small role in in my uh, teaching career. Um, so I want to start Michelle Gardner, our fearless leader in the special ed department. You're awesome. Um, all right, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tracy Lowenstein and Denise Pianoshka, I don't know if they're here. They're uh, two tremendous paraprofessionals who I've worked with. Um, Tracy and I go back about eight years where uh, we probably should have received combat pay for our first couple jobs. Um, Joanne Stanick, I, I didn't see her uh, here in the audience. I see she's retiring, very upsetting to me. She's an unbelievable teacher. Uh, Paul Grant, as professional as they get, he's, he was awesome when he showed up at Woodruff uh, five or six years ago, made all of our jobs easier as special educators. Um, Sean Waller, you know, you make school fun for the kids and, and for myself. It's a lot of fun going in your classroom. Um, Kelly Murray, I, I learned a ton from you these past couple of years. Uh, Kathy Finkelstein was my, my mentor teacher when I first started, gave me a ton of great ideas and um, really helped, set me on the right path. Um, Kim Deltor, we used to call ourselves the old married couple because we, uh, we worked so long together. Um, I'm not half the teacher I am today if it wasn't for her. Uh, Sarah Berger, we currently co-teach together. Someone I've worked with for so long, we're uh, finishing each other's sentences at this point. Um, and a great teacher who's, who's really in it for the right reasons, really cares about the kids. Uh, true story, my first year of teaching, um, I shared a classroom with Jen Cassidy, and I don't know if I would have survived that first year without her. I actually wrote a Teacher of the Year speech for her that, uh, that first year <laughs> until she told me that she was deathly afraid of public speaking. Uh, so I never submitted it. Uh, it's probably still on the H drive somewhere. Mike Scarra could pull it up, hopefully. I'll show it to you. Um, but uh, she's, she's been great uh, these past few years. And, and of course, Miss Gasparini, um, eight years ago, you know, when she hired me, I had no teaching experience outside of you know, a couple months teaching social studies at a, a rural high school in, in Ohio. Uh, where the kids would get up and, and they'd farm for, for two hours before coming to school. My job was just to keep them awake uh, half the time. It was, it was crazy. Um, but she took a chance on me. I'll never forget it. Um, so I start every school year thinking to myself, you know, I want to repay her faith in me uh, for hiring me that day. And, you know, I think one of the best compliments you would give an administrator is, um, is this. And, and she's made me a better teacher through these years. And... Uh, you know, I, I really care about her, and, and I appreciate all you did for me. Thank you, Ms. Gasparini. Um, oh, there you go. That's nice. It's some brownie points, hopefully next, uh, on my next evaluation, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> um, so I looked around. None of my students are here. None of our students or any students I've had in the past, which is a good thing. Um, there's a running joke in the school, I guess, that I'm married to Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift couldn't make it tonight, unfortunately, but her beautiful assistant, uh, my wife, my real wife, Jen, is here. Uh, so thank you for um, your support and, and everything you do. And uh, I, you're usually right most of the time, but I, I didn't stick to the script. I'm kind of happy about that. Um, but this last part, I do want to say, and I'm, I'm going to butcher his name. Uh, he's not here, but Eli, Mr. Q uh, at Mountain Park. My first year teaching, I came to this ceremony, and uh, he said something that stuck with me all of these years, and he ended his speech this way, and I want to end it the same way. Um, 
You may not be the teacher of the year, but you are someone's teacher of the year. Uh, so thank you and congratulations to all the other recipients. And, uh, thank you. The Educator of the Year from Columbia Middle School is Mrs. Donna Bokach. Donna, please join me. Donna Bokach has taught sixth grade social studies and language arts classes at Columbia Middle School since September of 1994. She arrived in Berkeley Heights after having taught grade six for one year in the school district of Philadelphia. In the years since, Mrs. Bokach has established herself as a dynamic classroom teacher and respected voice on the middle school staff. The entire sixth grade team of teachers considers Donna Bokach as a mentor that they feel lucky to work with, said Frank Geiger, principal of Columbia Middle School. She is a master teacher who is a tireless advocate for her students, and she works hard to integrate a variety of student-centered instructional techniques into her practice. Mrs. Bokach has been commended for the tremendous amount of thought that she puts into the development of her classroom lessons, and that she is a tremendous resource to her district supervisor for the design of social studies instruction at the middle school. Her enthusiasm and creativity make the subject matter easier to learn for the girls and boys in her classes, and Donna's thorough approach and positive attitude help ensure that all of our students understand the material being taught. Mrs. Bocaccio has taught social studies exclusively over the past few years, earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology from Lehigh University, and she received her Master of Education degree in elementary education from the University of Pennsylvania. She has been an active and involved member of the Columbia Middle School community during her career, ranging from her work on student writing exemplars and contributions to the literary lunch program and textbook review committee, through her serving as a faculty advisor to the student government newspaper club, writing club, and intramural volleyball. Donna's lessons make learning social studies fun and memorable, added Mr. Geiger. She brings a broad array of instructional strategies to her classroom. During their study of geography units, it is common to hear students brag that they have learned many details about nations throughout the world and can properly pronounce the names of each country and can actually find those nations on an unmarked map as well. Mrs. Bokach gets her students excited about social studies. Mrs. Bokach has been a go-to person and collaborative team player for the middle school for many years. She may not recall, but we wrote social studies curriculum together back when we had little babies running around our homes. Now some of those babies are driving cars and going to college, um, but from that time until now, I've had the utmost respect for Donna as a teacher and congratulate her on this deserved recognition. Congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. Kane, will you join us? If you've been into Columbia Middle School and have met Ms. Bokach in the past, you know that her infectious enthusiasm is a gift to every student in Columbia. It is not a surprise that she is being honored in this way. Ms. Bokach has sparked a love of learning in all her students that have been lucky enough to have her as their, in their class. So on behalf of the Columbia Middle School PTO, I want to congratulate Ms. Bokach, our Educator of the Year. Thank you. And the fun part of this honor, here we go. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is a great honor, and I'd like to start by thanking the Board of Ed and really all the administrators who have supported me over the years, especially Dr. Ralph Ferry, who hired me 25 years ago, uh, Ms. Gasparini, who mentored me, and I learned so much that year, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Geiger and Mrs. Acosta, and certainly Mr. Hopkins, my department supervisor. I'd also like to acknowledge the love and support of my family and friends, uh, and this most definitely includes my coworkers, notably my sixth grade team, because they are my sisters and my brothers in this daily journey of teaching. They are my family. Uh, 
When I was in kindergarten, I overheard my teacher, Mrs. Stoltz, tell my mom that I was so patient with the other kids that I should be a teacher. Reflecting back on 44 years since then has helped me to realize two loves that I have. First, I love learning. No matter the age or school, whether fourth grade or sophomore year in college or even a workshop this year, I get excited about it. What excites me? All of it. The branches of government, trigonometry, macroeconomics, a tale of two cities. I realized there was so much that I did not know. And there were incredibly smart people in front of me that did know. I held such respect for them and the knowledge they possessed. Second, I also love learners. I begin every back to school night telling the brand new nervous middle school parents what I believe is more important than the curriculum or the class expectations. I tell them how much I love this job and how much I love their children. Every single day, there is at least one student with some kind of spark, whether it's a small victory playing Quizlet Live or a huge aha moment realizing just why every early civilization chose to live near a river. And although I can't take credit, nor do I want credit for these moments, I'm proud that I contributed to them. These two loves, the love of learning and the love of the learners, they fill my days with joy. Composer Scott Hayden stated, teachers have three loves, love of learning, love of learners, and the love of bringing the first two loves together. He's right. How fortunate I am to be a teacher. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. The Educator of the Year from Governor Livingston High School is Mr. Dan Guyton. Dan, please join me on stage. Dan Guyton began his employment in the Berkeley Heights Public Schools in the fall of 2002 when he was hired as an assistant football coach at Governor Livingston High School while he was completing his student teaching experience at Bernard's High School. The following September, Mr. Guyton was appointed to his current position as teacher of technology education industrial arts at GL, and he has taught a wide variety of diverse courses at his alma mater in the 16 years since joining the faculty. Mr. Guyton is a talented educator who demonstrates his passion for his students and his content on a daily basis, said Robert Nixon, principal of Governor Livingston High School. As a teacher of elective courses who also happens to be the head coach of three varsity sports teams, there may not be a staff member at GL who has the opportunity to positively influence more young adults than he does. Through his actions, Dan demonstrates that he not only accepts this responsibility, but cherishes it. Dan earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Technology Education and received his Master's of Education degree in Instruction, both from the College of New Jersey. During the course of the current school year, Mr. Guyton has provided instruction in the following courses. Introduction to Electronics, Introduction to Technology, Fine Metalworking, Introduction to Computer Assisted Drafting and Design, CAD, Advanced CAD, and Project Connect Industrial Arts. In addition, as a member of the PC team, he helps to facilitate small group and whole group interdisciplinary Project Connect connections. Mr. Guyton is currently serving as the head coach of the Governor Livingston football, indoor track, and outdoor track teams, having, ta having taken over responsibility for all three programs during the past six years after serving as an assistant coach since arriving at GL. His hard work with Highlander student athletes over the years has resulted in many competitive successes for both the teams and individuals he has coached. 
In the classroom, Mr. Guyton engages his students in real-world challenges where they use engineering design process to create and evaluate solutions, Mr. Nixon added. Furthermore, he continues to update and revise the challenges for students to incorporate new and emerging, emerging technology. While many of his classroom students and student athletes have achieved great success, it is the positive example that Dan sets for all of them as a role model that has helped them to become impressive young adults. I'm quite proud personally to admit that Mr. Guyton is one of my former students and players. We have also had the pleasure of working together as coaches for a short time. We also have an agreement to not share any students about each other from the old days. Dan has always put his students first in everything he has done. Every student gets his best effort every single day. Congratulations on many jobs, well done. Mrs. Lalavi, will you join us? Hi, on behalf of the GLPTO, I'd like to offer congratulations and deep appreciation to Mr. Guyton on being chosen Teacher of the Year. It's always a happy occasion to recognize teachers who make such a big impact on our children. Thank you, Mr. Guyton. <laughs> All right. Good evening. I'd like to thank the Board of Education, our superintendents, former, present, and future, Mrs. Ratner, Dr. Noonan, Mr. McKinney, and Dr. Varley. I'd like to thank our amazing administration at GL for their superb leadership, Rob, Tara, Larry, AJ, and Ann. I want to thank my supervisors, past and present, Mary Ann Ketza, and now Drew Ziobro. I want to thank my colleagues, uh, especially my partners in crime, Walt Viat and Ernie Monaco. I want to thank the Project Connect teachers over the years and my respective coaching staff members. Um, congratulations to all the other educators of the years and to all the uh, retirees this evening. As you may know, I grew up in Berkeley Heights. I went to Mount Park, went to Pingree for middle school, and then GL. Uh, the last time I was actually on the stage uh, receiving anything was my senior year, receiving the Andrew James Richter Memorial Scholarship. Andrew was my childhood best friend that tra tragically passed away when we were in the fourth grade. Um, since then, I have vowed to always keep Andrew in my heart and try to make a difference and to try to live a life that matters. I drive up the hill each morning, nothing less than pumped up to tackle the day ahead. I have a deeply held dedication to my students, their families, and a passion for my craft. I take pride in the fact that my classroom is a place for all learners. Every semester we cover the code of respect, and I, I read the In This Room green sheet. Um, wearing safety glasses and following safety rules is not a sometimes thing. I believe that measuring, sketching out new ideas, and making things by hand are as important as the three R's. One of my favorite quotes is John Wooden. It's amazing how much I learned after I knew it all. I take pride in the fact that my teaching, my classroom, my materials, and my design challenges that I present are constantly refined and sharpened in order to challenge my students in the best possible way. Um, the engineering design process and trying something new has become a way of life. As former Secretary of Education Bill Bennett said, we, should be, we shouldn't be reluctant to declare that some things, some lives, books, ideas, and values are better than others. It is the responsibility of the schools to teach these better things, end quote. Teaching um, or these new methods, technologies, and tools have made my job fascinating and entirely fulfilling. Uh, the opportunity to collaborate with colleagues and to develop transdisciplinary proje uh, projects such as PC Cares and PC Incorporated, um, where students are transformed into leaders, stakeholders, and change agents has been a privilege. Uh, I can't wait for Drew and James's new STEAM Academy and for the new robotics course I have been currently developing. Um, 
I come from a family full of school teachers, three grandparents, two aunts, an uncle, a cousin, mother-in-law, a brother-in-law, and my wife. Uh, my grandfather, Bob Hewitt, was an industrial arts teacher uh, in Arizona, and he showered me with unconditional love, and he was my first hero. My father, Richard Guyton, instilled in us a strong value, or instilled in us as strong a value on education as one could instill. His line was never go cheap on brains. And he meant it having put many family members and even his friends, kids, through prep school, college, and med school. Um, my coach, Joe Hubert, he taught me the meaning of selflessness, courage, and that you must always have a plan. My mother, Dr. Mar uh, Margaret Guyton, taught me that the true meaning of, uh, taught me the true meaning of sacrifice and that it is uh, never too late to follow your dreams. Uh, my mother and father-in-law is Bonnie and David Shepard. Uh, Shepherd, they, they, uh, they pretty much feed me. Um, I, have, I, have, I have a pretty big appetite, but, um, but seriously, uh, they continue to shower my children with the same un unconditional love, and I am forever grateful. I want to thank the love of my life, uh, my wife, Lin Lindsay. Uh, she's my biggest fan, and frankly, I don't know how she does it, and she's the toughest human I know, and um, I, th I think I need somebody who's tough, so it's good. Um, I want to thank everyone uh, responsible for me receiving this honor. I don't need it, uh, but this seems just like the be beginning for me, and I, um, I was shocked, and I'm extremely honored and appreciative of it. Um, finally, I will forever be grateful for, for the memory here tonight that was created for me and my family. Hi, Brielle. Hi, Brett. Are you guys asleep yet? They're over there. Uh, my, my daughter, Brielle, is four, and my son, Brett, is two, and we have number three on the way, and they are my greatest blessing and the greatest treasure that the Lord has provided. And so once again, thank you, congratulations to everyone, and have a great evening. Can we have uh, one more round of applause for all of our educators of the year? They are certainly a, a great collection and um, really give us a lot to be proud of as a district. The next portion of our program will honor the accomplishments of those staff members who are retiring from Berkeley Heights. This is just one small token of thanks for many years of service to the students of Berkeley Heights. And while we're sad to see them leave, we know that their impact will be felt long after they're gone. Now, we had many conflicts, and I, I'm not sure that we have uh, many of our retirees. There were a couple undecided. So, um, Ms. Haber, are you here this evening? She is not. Um, and I, I don't believe any of the others are with us. So I'm going to uh, share the names, the years of service, and their positions and uh, we will applaud for them at the end, and then we will provide them with their plaques and their gifts from the district um, at, over the next couple of weeks. So first is Ms. Patricia Haber. She is a paraprofessional. Uh, she served 20 years at Governor Livingston. Ms. Mary Jane Kozat, 15 years as part of the cafeteria staff. Serving 18 and a half years as a member of the cafeteria staff, Mrs. Nancy Lepresti. Serving 10 years as part of the custodial staff at Thomas P. Hughes and part of that family, Mr. Mike Sharkey. Serving 22 years at Columbia Middle School as a grade six teacher, Mrs. Mara Berkey. Serving 28 years as a learning disabilities teacher consultant, Ms. Maureen Brewster. Serving 11 and a half years as a paraprofessional, Mrs. Regina Colligan. 
serving 28 years as an elementary teacher, Mrs. Marianne Confroy, serving 30 and a half years as a teacher of technology education, Mr. Peter Fastante, serving 22 years as a school nurse, Mrs. Jill Fisher, serving 25 years as a lunchroom and playground aide, Mrs. Virginia Guida, serving 22 years as a teacher of special education at Mountain Park, Ms. Lori Liming. <laughs> Serving 21 and a half years as a lunchroom playground aide, Mrs. Frances Milano. Serving 18 and a half years as superintendent of schools, we've heard of this lady, Mrs. Judy Ratner. Serving 17 years as a grade five teacher at Mountain Park, Mrs. Joanne Stanick. And last but not least, serving 31 years as a teacher of family and consumer sciences, Ms. Holly Urenovich. And as we say goodbye to all of our retiring staff, we wish them a long life of health, happiness, and many new adventures. And we thank them for all they have done for our students and our district. One more round of applause.